What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another Digimatch. So on the exhibition matches, I am on the left, I am playing Cross Heart. And on the right we have Alejandro and he is playing um, Bloom Lord Man, if I remember correctly. You can probably tell by the man. His Lily Man and his Mimi Tachikawa. He's gonna go ahead and, um, so I go ahead Sparrow Man and Taiki in the back, pretty good. He's gonna go ahead and go into, is that Palmon and the Red Vegemon? And I think this Palmon um, does get him a two, right? It's one vegetation and one fairy. Am I wrong? He just grabbed the, uh, the Hydrosi. Sparamon swing with 5k, pretty good. And then play the Ballistamon off the Zenjiro to choke him at one. I am thinking about maybe playing the Shaman deck at next locals because uh, I, I actually really like it. I, like I said, I'm pretty sure I told you guys on the channel that I like playing... Um, oh, he's going to suspend with the Samadhi Santi. Pretty good. I wonder why he... Because I didn't know this deck played Samadhi, Samadhi Santi. But he's letting me know early on that he plays it. I'm actually, I was actually a little worried going up, going up against this deck because... Um, is my first time playing against Bloom Lord, and I think the advantage I have over some opponents um, in general, especially with new decks, is that they don't know what's going on. So they can't account for all the variables, like all the unknown variables. So with like Bloom Lord Mon, Bloom Lord Mon, I'm a little worried because I don't know how the deck operates or what it's trying to do. I know it digis orbs and stuff like that, but you know what I mean. Like I don't know all the plays of the deck. And it makes me uneasy. That's why I like playing as many decks as I can, as many different decks. So now, so I know what's doing. The Palmon does hit the Crimson Blaze in security. So yeah, I am running four copies of Crimson Blaze because I just think it's really good. I feel like I could deal with like one stack, but in an opponent that's like, uh... damn, bro, I'm like rushing them down. I'm just. All right, all my Digimon die, but all my Digimon are... Oh, that's game, right? Yeah. Yeah, with the Zenjiro, it doesn't matter. It'll, it'll be like what? I'll get in... I'll get in I'll get back. Ugh. Anyways, yeah, Shaoman X, uh, X5, pretty good. I played as a 4 of. Taiki is going to add X5. Oh, 4. He let me know it's 4. Alex also let me know that I cannot grab the Kiriha because it is not a cross heart. And I didn't know that. I know it's blue flare. I just didn't know that you couldn't. Oh, that's really weird. Why did I do it that way? Couldn't I grab the Daruluman or did I not, did I not grab the Daruluman? Did I not reveal Daruluman off that? Because X5 could have gone to my hand, right? I, I don't know why I want it under. But it doesn't make sense. Tie in the back. The tie, I don't know how to feel about it. I think I'm going to take it out. Maybe maybe for another Kiriha. Or for another removal. Or, to be honest, for a fireball. Because I took fireballs out in uh, in place of the Crimson crimson Blaze. Sunflow Mon to pass me over to three. Okay, okay. Promote Sparrow. Sparrow will be swinging for 5k. Draw a card. And then I remember that he has a Woodmon because I didn't know. Yeah, bro. Like, I, I started playing with BT, BT3, bro. Why does Wood, Woodmon look like that? The sad part is I get that dude in the tournament packs like every week. And I still didn't re remember that was a Woodmon. I hate getting that Woodmon in the tournament packs. But I'm not going to talk shit about Woodmon because... He was my boy back in the day for green. Okay, so he digisorbed uh, for the Blossomon. Uh, Argomon suspends itself to digisorb. And I'm just waiting for the Samadhi Santi. It doesn't matter, right? Um, is he looking to go into Bloom Lord? Oh, is that the alt art Bloom Lord? That looks so nice. He's going to gain three memory back, unsuspend. And that does suspend one of my Digimon, or does it not? 
Yeah, so I just let him know like w what's going on here. So he's gonna gain three memory, one for each of his suspended Digimon, and then Bloom Lordmon will unsuspend himself. Uh, swing at security. Is it two checks? One, two. A Shaoman King version and a Sparrowmon in the security. And then he plays the Pomumon. Is that the one I cannot play uh, Digimon by card effects? Uh, that, that doesn't really matter against my deck. The Taiki, the Taiki, the Tai is doing a good job right here, setting me to three. So I'm going to swing at security. He does live. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. What's next? What's next? Like if I have a Crimson Blaze, I think that would be the best play here because I would destroy his Argomon. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to choke him to what, to one, play the Derulumon and kill off the Pomumon. He does have a Rookie. I see his hand right now. He has a Rookie to Digivolve in the back. Swing for one check? No, right? You want like everybody... You, he wants his Digimon suspended. So Marasanti, suspend his Argo, suspend my Darulu. Warren had been better to suspend my Taiki. No, I guess because he has piercing, right? This uh, Bloom Lord Mon. If both of his Digimon are sus suspended, let me see. Oh yeah, it counts for himself. So he'll swing and get the effect. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Does he not have piercing? Uh, Crimson Blaze. And then I was like, yeah, bro, the Argomon, though. The Argomon is 6k. That's the only bad thing about Argomon, dude. It's the only bad thing about Argomon, 6k. But yeah, now he can't play Digimons by effects. Digimons. Digimons. Crimson Blaze is gone. The Rulumon cannot unsuspend here. Ooh. But yeah, Crimson Blaze, again, coming in clutch. I will draw a card. Off the Pikmon, swing with the Derulumon, the Derulu, the Ballista. Ballista does survive. And then... T -t 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 -t. Can I go into an X5 here? X5, X5 for two checks. If I go into X5 right now, he will have Reboot. Most likely, but yeah, I do have the Spare Amount under there, so he will have Reboot. I'm just thinking, so I, I'm thinking about the pieces. One, two, three, four... He doesn't have Rush. Oh, he doesn't have Rush, but it doesn't matter. Because I have the Shoutmon. Okay. I could have tapped the Akari, right? The Hikari? To, uh, to draw an extra card there. Damn, dude, like, all my Digimon are suspended. Okay. Uh, the Aitarmon, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think he has the Hydra Hydrasi in hand. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I like Christmas music up in here right now. Okay, he's going to go into Hydramon, right? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. He's going to bottom deck. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, okay. No, no. Oh, oh, my poor Shoutmon, bro. My poor, poor Shoutmon. There goes all my materials. Swing at security. Okay, so I need a green source. No, don't do it, bro. Because I know at some point I used my secret weapon against this deck, but I'm pretty sure I need a green source first. So please tell me you have a green source. Hmm. I'm taking quite a while here to think about what I'm going to do. Okay, play the Zenjiro for three costs. Do I have a Ballistamon in hand? Ballistamon is in hand. Tap the Zenjiro, tap the Hakari, draw a card, gain a memory. Pretty good, pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and Grand Del Sol. Put him to five and put the Hydramon under. Yeah, yeah. So I guess Hydramon there, because I don't remember what Hydramon does after the when Digivolving effect, but I'm assuming that was a bigger threat other, um, as opposed to like bottom decking the Bloom Lordmon. I'm going, he's going to play the Sunflowmon, 
go into Hercules Kabuterimon. Pomomon in the back. So I, he just drew into his rookie. I do say, I do see, you guys don't see it, but he is playing Nidhogmon. That's pretty cool. So yeah, he only has one security though. So if I have an X5 in, in my hand, that's pretty much GG. I think what I'm missing right now is the Shoutmon, the one that gives me Rush. Taiki, and then there it is. So there's the Shoutmon, grab it to my hand. Um, Sparrowmon under, and that's pretty good. I think that kind of seals the game for me unless he has like a blocker. Yeah, so yeah, no way. Swing, draw a card. And then I do have the X5. Yeah, you see he's playing Nidhogmon. But yeah, the X5, I do have all the materials. Pretty good. King version would have done the same thing, but yeah, it's pretty good. I like the deck. I like the cross heart deck now that it's a little bit more tame. But yeah, I think I'm going to take this one to my locals. Um, it's either this or this or uh, Belstarmon. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the match, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It means a lot to me. But again, as always, just in general, thank you all for watching. Yeah, I, yeah dude, like, I still can't believe I hit like 1k, I think, a month ago. But I'm going to keep doing this. Like I said, I really enjoy the game. So I'll be here for a long while. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. My name is Mr. J, and I will see you all next time.